Hi there, this is Janusz Fenyersi and I want to introduce the new unit I developed for hobbyist beekeepers, for backyard beekeepers, the new Instant Pop Light 1820 volt uh, oxalic acid vaporizer. It's a cordless vaporizer and why did I develop it? I already had the Instant Pop Compact, the Instant Pop Original. Why a third one? It's just because the feedbacks I get from beekeepers is that it's wonderful, it's my dream, I just can't afford it. So I thought a lot about it, how can I reduce the cost and make still a very efficient tool which works wonderful, will last long. So as you can see, it's a very robust stainless steel construction. It's welded, welded, still you can disassemble, everything can be serviced. There's one LED for feedback, just like on the compact. The socket and you have a 1 to 4 gram uh, adjustable uh, oxalic acid dispenser. You can see 1, 2, 3, 4 and as you twist, I'm now increasing as I am undoing the screw and as I am twisting back, I'm decreasing. So you can set the quantity. You just push into the oxalic acid and there is the oxalic acid and when you put it in and press it, it falls into the cooking chamber and it will start vaporizing. This is the same way a very strong brass outlet tube spout. It has all the grips so that it stays there and you don't need to hold it at the entrance or in the back of the hive when you drill a hole. As you can see, you just turn it, you can put it to the, to the back if you drill a hole or you can put it to the entrance and it stays there very strong, very safe. It doesn't twist, doesn't fall down. And uh, what is very good about this tool is that it's half the speed of the compact or the original device, but it can handle very small capacity batteries. So with two amp hour battery, you can warm up in three minutes, three and a half minutes, and then you can start vaporizing. And uh, uh, in one minute, it vaporizes two grams, one and a half minutes, it vaporizes four grams. It takes faster the vaporization, but then you have to wait a little bit until it warms back and it's ready for the next dose. And you can do with two amp hour battery, eight to 10 colonies with four, uh, with two grams and with four grams, around five, six colonies, just with two amp hour, including warm up. So it's really, really good for backyard beekeeping, beekeepers. I would say up to 20 colonies, it's really good. After that, I would go for the compact or the original but uh, for hobbyist beekeepers, it's really a very, very good tool. So you just pop the battery on and then the LED starts blinking slow. It means that it is warming up. And once it is steady on, then it's ready for the vaporization. Uh, this full, this front part gets really hot. You know, 230 degrees, it's really hot. The back is okay. But you should always wear a mask, gloves, some clothes which is closed, so not like uh, shorts and so on, and then you are ready to go. And in three minutes, warms up, and, uh, and then after that it will be steady on. And when you vaporize, it will blink fast, because it measures the temperature drop. From that, it knows that it started the vaporization process. And then it looks at the temperature drop, and from that it calculates how long it will take to vaporize, and then that, that's how long it will uh, flash fast, blink fast. And then once it finished the vaporization, it will go to a slow blinking, which means it is warming back, but it's ready for the, going to the next colony. Then you can pull out the dispenser so it can cool down. This one also gets quite hot, so you should always wear gloves. Without gloves, you shouldn't use it. So once uh, it starts blinking slow, just like now, then you pull out. You wait till it goes to steady on, then you push into the oxalic acid and you put in for the next dose. That's how you go. So it's a, as you can see, now it's a 4 amp hour battery. You put on, and no problem, I can put on even an 8 amp hour or 12 amp hour or 1.5 amp hour, it doesn't matter. And I will include more batteries, so uh, more type of batteries, so Milwaukee, Devolt, Rigid, uh, Einhell and Bosch and uh, the blue and the green Bosch and so on. So I will have many different type of circuits. 
available in the workshop and then uh, uh, you can choose whatever you already have or you plan to invest into so this is how it works it's a stainless steel construction very strong it is shielded from the wind uh, and uh, so it's it's really the circuit board is hidden in the handle so uh, not much uh, chance of any damage for that because uh, even if it's light rain it's very well protected inside so this is the kind of the uh, safest design I, I could come up with and uh, and uh, most rigid one well soon I will put up my mask I will put up some gloves and then we shall see how it works hello so I put up some mask and safety gear it's 32 grams this is steady on We're ready for treatment let's see the wind is blowing so that's why you can see that we just finished the now it is blinking slowly. I can pull back, so this can cool down. And this is warming back. Put it back for the two grams, and it's ready. Now it is blinking fast, it is vaporizing. Once it will finish the vaporization, it will go to slow blinking. Now it goes to slow blinking, you can pull it back. Now I will set three grams. This is three grams. It's ready for the three grams. Put this in. Starts blinking fast. You can see it's very clean, it doesn't clog up. It's about 15 degrees now, ambient, works perfectly. This was three grams. Now it goes to slow blinking and I can set this to 4 grams. It is set to 4 now. It's blinking slow warming back it's ready for the four grams you can imagine how it will fill up the full colony and kill all the mice the wind is blowing quite a lot but it's all right. See, it is still vaporizing. Blink. 
into the fast. Now it's pretty much finished. Goes to slow blinking. We pull out the dispenser. Fill it up again, the program. When it's steady on, let's put this on. Still blinking slowly. You can go to the next colony, you can prepare the dosage. Pull it out always so this one cools down, the dispenser. And it's ready for the next dose. You should see at the entrance if you are doing it from the entrance, so all the oxalic acid fume stays inside the colony. You can see the wind is blowing away right away. If you have a long entrance, most of the oxalic acid will be lost. See, just still smoking, still smoking. Vaporizing. Blinking fast. It shows that it is vaporizing. Kind of finished. Goes to slow blinking. I can pull out. We will go to two grams again and then we finish it. Soon it will be ready. Only put it back once it's ready, so it is not warming up unnecessarily. Always use gloves, because you are protecting your skin. Ready? This is the two grams. quite windy out here which is good because we are the wind is blowing from our back kind of finish the two grams and you can see that I can put this here and it stays there firm and stable finish vaporizing blinking slowly now what do you do when you finish vaporizing you need to clean the device. So you pull out the battery, you remove the dispenser, you should have a bucket of water where you can clean it in the, water, in the bucket. I don't have that now. You should have you know, any drinking water. And the, I also give you this cleaning cap. I give you a spare o-ring for the dispenser. So let's put in some water into this cleaning cap. We fill up, you can fill up to the top because it is designed so that this is the right quantity. Turn it upside down, put this in, and then I... Then I fill it up again. Filling, no problem. Pull out a little bit. Turn it upside down. And it's ready and clean. And you can put it already in the car because it will not create any fumes. 
the dispenser you should also clean I don't have now the bucket so I can clean it like this cleaning a little bit of oxygen because it's from the end and it's ready and clean I usually keep this out that this can dry out I, uh, I take off this mask so I usually clean it and after that I, uh, I keep this open store it separately so that both can dry out if I close it then it could be just a humid environment inside it's better that it can dry and the other thing is I include in the package a cleaning cap you can separately buy this, but if you don't lose it, you then will never need a second one. They also include a spare o-ring for the dispenser. This dispenser you can oil it from time to time, so that it, uh, uh, you know, with mineral oil, not with vegetable oil, because that dries out, and then it will go in easily and come out. Okay. And then I also include a user manual. English, German, French language, but I will have also translations up on the web page. So I really hope that you got excited that now you can buy a product which is affordable. You can see the prices up on the web page uh, in US at Lorobies, in Europe, all the distributors are on my web page, and, uh, and uh, you are ready to go. I hope you will enjoy it and it's a great value for your business. Thank you.